Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to schoolquiz.com. Myself, Anjali Moinani. Today, I'll be teaching you one new topic that is called models from your 10th grammar. Okay, so let me just share my screen to you for that. So, let us begin with what is model. Okay. So, model are nothing but, you know, the words which we use like word, would, must, should, shall. These are the words are included in the model. These are called auxiliaries without which a sentence could not function. Okay. So, see some example. But you must go out of this room immediately. Now, here the auxiliary is must. Means what? She is ordering him to do something. Okay, but you can go out. So, can is also a model auxiliary. You should. So, that is also a model auxiliary. Okay. So, now let us see how models is used in the above slide and why is it used. You will be thinking, you just said what is model auxiliary, but what is model auxiliary? So, let us learn from the beginning. Okay. So first, we'll start with the what are the verbs that will be included in the models, okay? So first one is the definition in that structure of modern verbs, okay? Third, how to use the model verbs, okay? So let us learn the model verbs definition. So first, a model verb is a type of auxiliary verb that is used to indicate modality, that is the likelihood, ability, Permission as well as possibility. It means what? It is a type of auxiliary verb. It means it is a type of verb that is used to indicate what? Modality. What are the changes? Okay. Likelihood. Ability. Permission. So we'll ask for permission. Could you please give me this? Could you please give, permit, give me the permission to go to this? Okay. So you might not be doing this you may be giving me permission you may that all words will be included as model auxiliaries okay so some model auxiliaries creates what creates the ability means it shows the ability can could they shows the ability permission may or may not be okay possibilities this is the possibility this will be happening so these are the words that will show you that whether it is ability, whether it is possibility, whether it is permissibility and whether it is likely good. Now, two of my friends can play guitar. So can is the model. Can means showing the ability that they can play what? Guitar. Okay. So this is the model auxiliary. Okay. Now let us see model verbs. What are the model verbs? Can. Okay. Could. Okay. May. Okay. Might. Okay. Will. Would. Shall. Should. Ought to. Must. So these are what? These are nothing but the list of model verbs. See can, as I told you, can will show you ability. Can, could, are used for ability. May, might, permission. Will, would, possibility. Shall, should. It should have been done. Ought to, must means have to do. Okay. So, these are the list of model verbs. Again, I am explaining to you. Can, could, okay. May, might, will, would, shall, should, ought to, must. Okay. So, basically, you can say there are five. And in that, you know, there are tenses, tense, like can, could. Okay. So can, could be the present tense, could, can, can be the past tense. May, might. Means it will happen, it will not happen, depends on that. Will, would, okay, again the tense change. And now should, shall, should, or to must. So how we can say, we can say can, can be one auxiliary, in that one part could be included as could. Similarly, may, in part could be included as might. Will, part could be included as would. Shall, should, part could be included as should, okay. Similarly, likewise in that or to, must is included as a part. So these are the model verbs. You can say basically there are five, but total there are 10. Okay. So I hope you are clear with the verbs. Moving on to the structure. What is the structure of model verbs? Okay. So it's like first we'll write the subject, whatever the subject. 
I, we, they, you, he, she, it, these are the subjects. Then we'll go with the model verb. Okay, must, can, should, may, will. Then we'll go to main verb, which will be the verb included. And afterwards, lastly, we will go to the complement. Okay, so it's like I'm framing one sentence for you. I must go to sleep. So here must is what? Model, verb, and go is the main verb and to sleep is the complement. Okay, and I is most importantly the subject. So similarly, there are few sentences. We can drink some water. They can drink some water. You should drink some water. He may eat some food. She will do some exercise. Okay. So basically, these are the type of, you know, subjects that can match and it will be matched with your model verbs. So my model verbs can be must, can, should, may, will. Whatever we have studied in the model verbs, that will be included in this one. Main verb can be go, drink, eat, do, anything, okay? For some water, sea, food, and exercise. I hope you are getting it. Moving on to the next thing. A model verb does not add or e as to the third person singular. He can swim. He can swim cannot be added. He would did can't be added. He would is can't be added. He does cannot be added. He could s could can be it cannot be added. So what happened? The model verbs do not include what. S or ES in the third person singular, like S or ES could not be included. Okay. Now, model verbs. What are the model verbs? See, simple verbs. See, there are tenses we have done. In that, we have done present tense, past tense, and future tense. In those categories, we have done simple, continuous, perfect, continuous, perfect. Okay. So these are the model verbs over here in that format also. I could work. He could work. It could work. They could work. This is simple. Simple sentence how it will be formed with the help of the model verbs. Now continuous sentence how it would be formed. I could be working. Remember, always remember continuous includes ing form of the main verb. Okay. So I could be working, he could be working, it could be working, they could be working. This all shows you what? This all shows you that it is a continuous tense. Now, perfect. I have always told you that in the perfect present perfect tense, have would be included. So it's like I could have worked, he could have worked, it could have worked, they could have worked. Okay. Then perfect continuous I could have been working. I told you what words would be included here. Just because it is a continuous sentence means been should be included. And because of the perfect, the have should be included. So how it will be like, I could have been working. He could have been working. It could have been working and they could have been working. Like that, these are your model verbs. Okay. Just see that. Four types, okay, simple, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous. Just remember, if you are thorough with the tenses, na, you will find it so easy, the models, that you will not be able to worry about, like, doing it fine in exams and everything, okay? Now, model verbs don't need auxiliary negative and question. So, examples, what they have given, she should stay. She doesn't should stay. We cannot write it. She shouldn't stay. Okay, we can write this. Why does she stay? Why should she stay? We included should. We included model auxiliary. Model verbs don't have infinitives or ing forms. Means canning, mighting. This cannot be included. Okay, in the model verbs. Now, model verbs, what is there? How to use? How can we use? So, just understand can. Use ability, possibility. Now, can is used for what? Ability, possibility, okay. Impossibility, asking for permission and request. Can can be used for ability, possibility. In what way? They can control their own work. Impossibility, we can't fix it. Asking for permission. Can I bring here? Okay, request. Can you help me? So, it's like 
what is here that can 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 be used as ability or possibility they can okay now impossibility means the can should be changed into can't okay and asking for permission so it will be remaining as can and for request also it will be remaining as can so can is used for what ability possibility impossibility asking for permission or request okay now the model auxiliaries these are what we have seen till now now let us begin with the could how could can be written use permission can i borrow your dictionary can use can be used for permission can also be used for request can also be used for possibilities there are possibilities can also be used for future can also be used for ability okay so permission ke liye how will write could i borrow your dictionary could you say it again more slowly possibility in what we can write i think we could have another t future i wish kindrel could meet me next week ability he gave up his old job so he could work for us so these are some examples of how could can be used as a model auxiliary like it can be used for asking permission it can be used for the request it can be used for the possibility it can be used for future it can be used for ability so today we have studied till this okay let us revise from first thing so what are model model auxiliaries are nothing but the sentences which helps us to understand the title okay let us see model is used in the above slide and why it is used so there are some definitions and structures and how to use okay so model verbs definition what is that model verb is a type of auxiliary that is used to indicate modality likelihood ability permission and possibility okay afterwards what is there list of model verbs you can just read it okay it can also be called as models if not model verb is given can could may might will would shall should or to must okay now this is the table for some examples how the structure is given okay just go through it model verbs what are the verbs your yes yes cannot be added over here how it can be written simple continuous that way okay now model verbs how it is written model verbs does in need auxiliaries to form negative question okay so now she shouldn't that way it could be written or it can be written with the help of can how to use so can can be used for ability possibility impossibility asking for permission and request model verbs can be used for permission request possibility future ability okay so we have studied two how to use can and could we'll see further in the next lecture till then take care